You know the Gospels don't tell us much about the life of Our Lady on Earth, but I really want to know everything I can about her. If you do too, you'll enjoy this true story about the hidden life of Mary. Howdy, and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca, and I am incredibly excited to share the story of another little-known miracle with you all. But before we get going, be sure to hit subscribe and click the bell notification down below, so that way you never miss out on another story of Mary. I know you're on the edge of your seat, so I'll be quick in introducing today's story. My story comes from a book that had a huge impact on me. It's called The Mystical City of God. It was written by a mystic by the name of Venerable Maria of Agreda, who, incredibly, got these stories directly from the Blessed Mother herself. Now, on to our story, which all began on Pentecost Day. Saint Peter stepped out before a huge crowd and spoke with so much fire that 5,000 immediately asked to be baptized, including a poor young woman named Lillian. But a short time later, Lillian became ill and eventually bedridden. The devil, who is a very big coward, had been watching her closely. Ha <laughs> ha, he thought, now that she is weak, I may prompt her to sin and maybe even steal her new faith from her. Okay then, in her weakened state, the girl did consent to a few sins. Now you know as I do that when you commit sins, you become weaker making it easier for the devil to tempt you even more. So, the devil now took on the appearance of a woman, approached Lillian's sick bed, and began to tell her lies about the Catholic Church that had just been founded. We want every Child of Mary member to have complete confidence in our Lord and Our Lady. So from now until the end of 2024, when you sign up to become a Child of Mary, you will receive a free copy of the Book of Confidence as one of your four membership gifts. Now, this powerful book was written by Father Raymond St. Laurent and draws on sacred scripture and the lives of the saints to instill the reader with complete confidence in our Lord. Reading this book will wash away any anxiety or doubt in your life and replace it with a serene trust in God. So don't wait. Click the link in the description down below, or you can click on your screen right there to become a child of Mary and get your copy of the Book of Confidence as one of your four free gifts. Thank you. Okay, back to the story. On and on the devil went spinning his tail until the young girl was nearly convinced that she should give up her newly acquired faith. Still, she asked, but what about that lady I've seen with the Christians, and who is so good, so kind and patient? Oh, replied the devil, wouldn't you know she is the worst of them all? Don't be deceived by her looks, her supposed kindness and patience. Hearing all this, Lillian gave up her faith, and she was soon at death's door. So one of the disciples visited her, but the more he tried to talk, the more she stopped her ears and asked him to leave her house. Next, Saint John himself made his way to the girl's house and found her in her bed, surrounded by legions of demons. But still, there was nothing he could do to convince Lillian to return to her faith. Now, Our Lady had the ability to see with her eyes of her soul all that happened with the church. She could see the poor girl on her bed, suffering terribly and surrounded by hideous devils. She prostrated herself on the floor and begged God to save the girl's soul. Then, as soon as Our Lady entered Lillian's room, the devil was left so quickly that they tripped over each other. She took the girl's hand and called her by name. Immediately, the girl felt refreshed. She begged Our Lady, wouldn't you? Bring me back to the church. The Blessed Mother then sent for St. John to administer the sacraments to the dying girl, and then she died happily in Mary's arms. As if that's not enough, 
Our Lady, with her prayers, made up for the girl's time in purgatory. So, when saying the Hail Mary, you should always stress, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching, everyone, and may God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.